didn't know why you weren't talking. Yeah, I was I was trying to figure out if it was there or not, but it looks like it's recording. Oh, what's up? Yeah, man. Hi. Hey. You seem so somber. Is that your pretty girl swag? No. Is that what's happening? Don't ever do that. You got um, pink lipstick on, so No, I just really didn't eat this morning. And I'm a little I'm a little malnourished. I'm I'm hungry, to be honest with you. Lightheaded. I, I think um, I I don't know what I'm feeling. I, honestly, <laughs> I I haven't. I don't know what the feeling is, but I just feel airy, lightheaded. Yeah, it's air in my head. Light headed. Yeah. So That's, that means you're gonna pass out during this episode. I mean, we can see it might make for good content. I Listen, don't know. If you pass out. That's the first clip. I'm oh, it's absolutely out. a clip. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm waiting for it actually. What? Wait, what? You Listen, want me to pass out? I, I just want us to be the best we can be. And be like, damn, they record through anything. Hell yeah. They really care about their listeners. Hell yeah, we ain't going to stop recording. We ain't going to edit it out, nothing. It's kind of like the Philly show when I had when you when almost, I almost died. died yeah. and we just kept the show going. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We are dedicated. No, I'm not that. I just want to eat. I'm just hungry. <sighs> I'm just hungry. Why didn't you eat? <sighs> I don't think I have a good answer. Like, you had stuff to do. The therapists were here. I had to make sure everybody was good. And then by the time, and then I, by the time it was time for me to like do food, then I had to get ready to record. That's literally it. It's always you. You always do something to fuck up my schedule. So. Nigga, I stopped you from eating. Yeah. You ate today, didn't you? I stopped you? you from eating. Didn't you eat today? I went to lunch, yes. Mm. But I had that on the books for like the last three days. That doesn't mean it's still not your fault. It's not my fault. It is your fault. Your fault. It's plan better. You always tell me that, but I do plan, and then your plans you outweigh my leaving. plans. You knew I was leaving no, I'm days just, ago. You asked me a question. I'm telling you why I didn't eat. We had to deal with things with the therapist, and I had to be there for that, and I couldn't do anything until now, where we have to record now. Why don't, and this isn't just a question for you, this is for a lot of people, why don't you make food for yourself when you're making food for other people? I do usually make food, but by the time I'm done with everybody else, I don't feel like making it for myself. Why don't you make yours first and then Because I make that- our kids food first because they have therapy and they need to eat first. So I make theirs first and then I go into making yours just to get it out of the way. It's usually not what I want to eat. And then by the time it's time for me, I'm like But that's what I'm saying. You don't have okay. The kids I get. The kids need to eat. But you ain't gotta make mine next. You ain't gotta make mine next. What if I just don't make yours? You don't have to do that either. Man, you be saying that. And then the day come and you're like, you ain't make my breakfast. No, it it never goes like that. It always goes, do you want me to make you something? And I say, yeah, sure. You should say no. No. Tell me no. No. Why? Because if you're going to make it, I'm not mad at it. But I don't know how to not do for you because I'm such a giving person. And I want to take care of y'all. You can do both. I'm such a caretaker. That I'm always concerned about y'all. And that's fine, but take care of you first. No, because by the time I eat, I don't want to do shit for y'all. I didn't say eat. I said make the food first. You want my food to get cold so y'all food could be hot? You give me cold food all the time. What the fuck? I, you know what? I meant to bring that up That's too, a too. lie. I meant to bring that that's up That's a lie. No, th- listen. That's a lie. Listen. Wow. I meant, I meant to bring this up to you before. What's more important? The omelet... Or the sausage. Eggs are so quick to cook. No, no, no. Answer the question. What's more important in the meal? The omelet or the sausage? Mm. Well, if it's turkey sausage, it's last. So Okay. Bam. Last. Then why do I get piping hot sausages and cold ass omelets? I don't know, cause I get in a, I get in like an omelet, like a, it's like an omelet station. Like I get in an omelet mood, and I just be whipping them out like bam, bam. Sometimes I make too many, cause I'm just in the rotation of making the omelets. <laughs> I just be killing omelets <laughs> where I gotta give them out, like they, cause they look so good, and I just be like pow, pow, pow. And I'm like, wow, that's twelve omelets. We don't have twelve people here to eat that. And then you make the sausage. Then I make the sausage, cause I can get all the omelets out the way. I need you ever you. made an omelet, like been in an omelet like mood? I'm terrible at making omelets, so no. So you never, when you get it right though you want to do it all the time 
For real. It's like, I don't know. It's like, you know how to do it. So, you know, whatever you do in this pan is going to be like a perfect omelet. So I kind of surprised myself. Like, let's see if it's going to be this one. Bam. That one's perfect. And like, boom, let's do this one. And boop, boop, boop. Look at that. That's crazy. They even got cheese in it. I ain't burning the cheese. Like, I just keep boom, boom, boom. Like, it's like a thing. But why can't you do the sausage first and then get into your little groove? Because sausage ain't fun to cook. <laughs> It's J Rod. Chris and Seville. And then we had Sex the Podcast, the fastest growing podcast in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Now, technically, <sighs> when I looked at the the top, it said the colony. But that felt real scary. So we I said, gonna say that. Yeah. So We're not I said, that. Um, let me go to where the colony is. And it's a suburb of Dallas. So, yeah. That's weird. I don't think we should ever say that. What, the colony? No, nah, I mean, right? I fuck with Dallas. I don't fuck with the colony of Why Dallas. Why not? You got to fuck with them. They was they was holding us down. I think they would rather be called Dallas, too. I don't know them. <laughs> but I think they would rather be called Dallas. I do. I don't know. I think that if you're from the colony, it sounds a little, you know. Where you from? The colony. You would tell niggas you was from the colony? You would tell niggas yeah, you was from the I'm colony? from the colony. How you think they would respond to that? Oh, shit. No. What? <laughs> Why your body do that? Oh, she swayed side to side. That felt like slavery a little bit. You what? Because s- you swayed. No. The colony. That's what it feels like. Nah, it's, the colony doesn't sound like slavery, does it? Does it does a little bit, man. Uh, thanks to Dipsy for supporting And Then We Had Sex. Dipsy is an audio app full of short, sexy stories. If you're looking to put a spark or heat things up, there's a story waiting for you. Get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash A-T-W-H-S. Yeah, man. Like, honestly, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of places that doesn't sound cool that don't that don't, don't sound cool or whatever yeah they don't sound cool but sometimes you gotta put a little oomph to it like for instance um my cousin grew up you think you grew up out there too Wesleyan chase what's wrong with you right what what i what, why what's wrong with that it don't sound gangster so i didn't need the sound well you might have not but my cousin did and he used to say, I'm from Dub C. Dub C or The Chase. People would be like, I'm from The Chase. Oh, so you know, you've heard this. <laughs> Nigga, I, what you mean? Of course I did. Dub C, The Chase. Yes. Yeah. Niggas would call it Dub C. Dub C. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is that? You want us to say WC? No, no. Because that's I weird. I want y'all to say Wesleyan Chase. No, The Chase. Like, what the you chase. mean? Yeah. That sounds just as bad as the comedy. Like, um, what the other neighborhoods, Lake Edwards, was people called it the LA Lakes. or Ellie. Ellie, yeah. But so why of- why could they be called that? We couldn't be the Chase. Cause the Lakes- Actually, ours sounds doper. What, the Chase? Dope as fuck. The Chase? Nah. What? Nah. What are you talking about? Neighborhoods usually don't sound crazy. I mean, don't sound gangster until you put a little sauce on it. And then when you hear what the neighborhood's supposed to sound like, you realize you had to put the sauce on it. You had to. Really? Yeah. Like, for instance. Um, and we're being mad regional right now. Yeah, super, I don't know if we should regional. do this. This super is kind of weird, but okay. Um, when I lived <laughs> when I lived out, when I first moved to Virginia Beach, yes. I lived in Baywatch. There was no way to make that sound hard. And it was also no water anywhere near that. Right, right. No way to make that sound hard. But... The the hooder the hooder part the hooder part yeah because we was hood but we wasn't hood hood yeah. but right across the little lake they had yeah it was a hooder part called carriage house you don't say hooder don't say that hooder carriage house had a lake that's crazy y'all ain't even so had a did lake we. y'all was bay we shared the lake you don't share a lake we did share that's the that's either theirs or y'all's nah we shared it no y'all didn't we did. For real. It was yeah. in between both of them. Yeah. Or you just said that's ours too. No, we used to actually cross over from the back end on the lakes to get so to you had to side. cross over all these niggas had to do is walk from the bus stop and it was a lake right there oh my gosh it was the same thing for us no anyway mm. but carriage house didn't sound hard as fuck carriage house kind of sounds hard no though. it didn't you know what sounded hard bayside arms arms right. arms yeah them niggas was armed <laughs> arms okay we can't do this virginia beach shit no more because they're gonna be like what the fuck uh yeah yeah how was your week 
Um, we had a week off. It was a good yes, week. Yes, we did. It was a good week. We had a week off. Um, I mean, it wasn't not good. It was just we really do shit. Um, we've been doing a lot of shit. So I don't know. We didn't re- I didn't really do nothing. I did my hair. I did. I don't know. I've done hold on a baby. Y'all can't hear the baby, but it's always funny when a baby interrupts. It gives character to the podcast. Um, yeah, we didn't really do shit. Just did therapy stuff. Oh, God. We registered our babies for school. That happened. We did register the babies. Oh, my God. Our babies, are our twins are going to school. So that, uh, yeah, I mean. How do you feel about that? I, I, I seen, don't feel um, anything right now. I, I, I tagged you in this post. On yeah. My, yeah. What, was that Facebook yesterday? It was Facebook. Yeah, where the girl was just having an all outfit. Because she had just dropped her child off to school for the first time. I remember when Kaden went to school for the first time, it was a shitload. It was a gang of us. We all walked into the bus stop. Like, it was a whole bunch of us. And then she got on the bus. I followed the bus to school. And then I came back, and we had mimosas and chicken and waffles. And I was cool. These babies going... I don't think it's going to be like that. And Nobody's I'm probably, coming to walk I'll probably drink them. before I get to drop them off. Like, I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to... I am going to lose my mind. I don't think they should go. I think they should wait. I thought about it. They don't... You know, I don't think you have to go to pre-K. You don't. I don't think you have to go to pre-K. Oh, my God. We didn't have this discussion. What, you thinking the same thing as me? No, I'm not. Damn. I thought about it. I What I thought was... They're getting an early head start in school. And I feel like that's important for them. No, nah, I think they're in therapies. Like, they're in enough therapies. Because uh, if you just join it, our babies are on the spectrum. They're in therapy and they have, like, work. Uh, so I think that's close. Like, all this, they ain't got to go. They Man, need the structure. I don't want to fuck with these. Th- Listen, I, I'm at a point in my life where the teachers are my age now. Not a younger some of them are younger. Not not most of them. Are so younger. I feel like I could talk my most shit. Most of them are younger. Don't do that. I'm just saying. Don't can I just Especially make my point? Wow, teachers. how about you? They are going to look at you and be like, "Sir, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Taylor, sir, they got to put extra things on it to make sure that you know you old. Excuse me. Uh <laughs> your lord. Um What? I don't know. Um I'm at that age now where like I just I'm very protective of my kids. And I know that, like, there was this thing when Caden first went to school, and it's really stupid, but I used to feel intimidated intimidated by teachers because I always had this feeling in my head that teacher, all teachers were older than me. So, like, I would send notes to the teachers, like, if Caden was out or something like that, and I would, like, spell check it, like, three times because I always felt like I was going to get in trouble if something was misspelled or something was wrong. Cause I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Like I was just real nervous. Every and I had to remember, like, yo, I'm I'm an adult. Like I'm the parent, right? I shouldn't be scared. They're not gonna grade I mean, me. You was kind of young when you had her. So I was I 21. <laughs> I wasn't that young, but still, like, I had to get to a point where I had to remember, like, no, it's I'm I'm the parent. I have a kid going here. Like I'm not getting graded. I did this already, right? So now I'm in like this mode. Like, please don't fuck with my kid. Like I don't want to have to go up there. I don't. And these babies are so precious to me that I'm like. I'm, I will I will fight somebody over them. I can't say kill on record because then they're going to play it back when something happens. But I can't, like, I'm, yeah, I can't, I can't deal with that. I cannot I deal that. with that. I get that. How do you feel about it? About them going to school in general? Like, honestly, not just like, get them the fuck out. Like, how do you feel? <laughs> I didn't even say get them the fuck out. That's what you would say? I would. I All would. right, exactly. Um, no, you know, um, I am, I, I, I think like any parent would be, I'm super excited for them to experience something new. Yeah. Um, I really think this is going to help in their development. Yeah. Um, so I'm super excited about that. But also. I'm also scared shitless for a couple of reasons. Yeah. One, I don't know if they know how to act in public. Mm-hmm. I've seen them in public with us before mm-hmm. and it was terrible. Yeah. So them in public without us. Oh. There's, but there's also like, I've seen them in therapies like. Um, you know, usually if they go to speech, you take them to speech and I don't go often. And I went one time I'm sitting there, I'm chilling. I'm just watching 
Caleb just do everything they tell him to do. He go sit in the chair. He go do his work. He go play. Like, he's doing everything. I'm just like, whose fucking kid is this? Yeah, I also see them other times where he just lays on the floor. And says, I mean, there's also, I yeah, he, yeah, be all done. Do, all I done. Doing shit. Oh, yeah, he'll all done. you in a heartbeat. All done. All done. Nope. Mm, nope mm, is nope. the new one. <laughs> oh, my God. We should take him to see the movie just because that's nope. his favorite word. He'd be like, oh, nope. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, so I'm I am I am on the fence. Um I think it sucks that we have so much traveling to do. Oh my gosh. Because yeah. I would like to be near them while they're in school. Mm-hmm. Um We're I, taking the first week, the first uh, Yeah, the first week off um to make sure that we can be around during that first week of school. Um but yeah, it's just so many things. I'm I'm a I'm nervous about them being around other kids. <laughs> Um, I'm nervous for the other kids. I'm not. I'm not. They. They. Okay. So I seen Cameron <laughs> tackle Caleb yes. into a laundry basket yeah, today, I've seen that. and I was like, "Oh shit, he might do that in school." And that's son. what I said. I'm nervous for the yeah, other children. So I get that. Or I there's also there. They are protective of each other. So like, if something happens. Like with one, I think the other one might jump in. I'm kind of excited about that. Oh my God, I would love to see go. how they react. Like Caleb, I don't, I don't want nobody to fuck with Caleb because he's quiet. And then when he's not quiet, you end up with scratches and shit all over your face. This is true. Like that's how Cameron looks all the time. But I've taught them how to punch. So do you think uh, that's something that we got to no do? Scratching. Okay, will so happen. are you proud of that? I just want them to. What'd you say? They don't. That's what you, your punches sound like. That's it's a weird. It's a weird Which thing. Go? I, yeah, like Street Fighter. <laughs> I wanted to be more realistic. I I don't know. I'm. I think it'll be. I just think it'll be really interesting. It's I'm, going to be interesting. It's very interesting. Um, and then we. I mean, we got middle schooler and a high schooler, and I. I, I haven't figured out if I'm scared of high school yet. There's nothing wrong with high school, man. Yes, she's so. going to a performing arts school, so she'll but be she's fine. also going to a regular school too. Yeah, she, yeah, but she'll be around kids she know. Some of them, most well, a yeah. lot of kids that go to that you start getting other um, districts. Yeah, other districts yeah. and stuff coming. I mean, that's what any when you go from any level yeah. of school or whatever. But uh, high school makes me a little bit nervous. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, it's just a lot of shit that happened. We, but our kid was, she was in middle school and was talking about kids fucking in the bathroom and going in the bathroom to vape and all this other wild shit. And I was just like, what the fuck? I love how you put vaping and fucking in the same category of wild shit. You're right. It's, <laughs> it's the fucking part. She went yeah. in the bathroom one time and this girl was giving her head to somebody in the bathroom. But it was middle school. And I say that out loud until I remember that I knew. Now, this is what I remember. I I didn't go to middle school here. Um, But I heard stories about middle school. I can tell you some. And when I got to high school, I expected it to be the same thing. And it wasn't. Mm -mm. So I think maybe. They got all that shit out in middle school. Exactly. So by high school, they do all of that in the dugout. But what if. Hey, fucking. <laughs> okay, so quick story if you're not from out here. Before I got, I think it was like the year before I got to school. So you were in ninth grade probably, but you weren't here, right? right. Um, but there was apparently a girl uh, or two uh, that kind of lined dudes up in the dugout and gave them all fellatio. Fellatio. Yeah. And it was like a urban legend until like my cousin was like, nah, that shit happened because he also played baseball. So I don't know if he nah, was that one shit, of them. That shit happened for but I I think about that kind of shit and then I'm like, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know how I feel. Like as I long know. as she's not the person giving head. But what if she didn't get all her shit out in middle school and now she go to high school and she's she like, get shit out. I know. But I'm not worried about high school. I'm worried about the performing arts school. Because freaks. Perform- freaks. It's kind of like Christian schools, like private schools. Yeah. Yeah. Because all you're doing is, because what if they like, oh, we got to rehearse this sex scene because it's Romeo and Juliet. Yo, listen, put on birth control. As long as she don't get pregnant or get no STDs, you know let what? her explore. But the thing is, I don't, 
No. What? Wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a you minute. You can't stop a child. You but cannot stop you a child can't, from doing but things. But what I do... Uh, what I do appreciate about at least like my relationship with her is she's ve- we're very open. She's not going to tell you. I think she would. She's not going to tell you. I think she would. She's I not really do. Tell you. I really do. She's not going to tell or me, ask me. Me beforehand. and my mother were tighter than tight. She told me everything. I <clears throat> she taught me everything about sex that I knew mm-hmm. up until I had sex. I don't think I told her I was having sex until she told me I was having sex. Okay, so, but you, that's, I, I know that you and your mother are tight, but it's also my daughter and me. No, I not, think that it's a little different. I do. She's not going to tell you. I'm she, a very. No, it's not about you. It's about your position in life. You're a parent. Now, she might tell auntie. She may tell her auntie, but she ain't going to tell you. Not right up. Not not right away. It's not going to happen. I feel like I wish we could bet on this, but I don't want her to ain't have no sex bet. at all. So. But you know what? We, we're we going to know when it happens. Oh, Because that attitude is going to get stank. Uh, absolutely. When does when, when it get worse than <laughs> it, what it, it is? It gets worse, yeah. yeah. I don't think so. That attitude going to get stank. How you know? You don't know. I know. You don't know. I've studied these things. You've stu- I've been... A girl for so your attitude. Ever. Didn't, well, you were like a grown up by the time you had sex. So no, I you, wasn't. Yeah, uh, don't do that. You <laughs> don't do that. I was not. You were. I just don't. I don't think it's exciting to her. I don't think it's one of those things. Like we've had this. We still talk about all kinds of shit. I just don't think it's one of them things. I mean, it may not be. No, don't. It may not be. I don't. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not a thing on her list. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised. But at the same time. Everybody you, everybody is not you. No, it's not even about that. It's just. You don't know every <clears throat> everything about. Fe- you don't know every female. You don't. I'm not even talking about her being a female. I'm talking about her just being a kid. And one day you wake up and you're like, oh, my gosh, yeah. that person is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Well, we've already been there. But I really think that our communication is open enough that I will probably find out. That I will know, that I will be told, it'll be like a, hey, can I talk to you for a second? I really think so. And you think it's going to come like that? Yeah, I want to talk to you about something. If she comes to you, it's going to be with tears. Oh my gosh, mom. I think she'll come to me before. I honestly do. That is so cute, man. I think when that's parents, crazy. Whenever it does happen, man, you don't feel like shit. Because I really do I'm think not. so. But all parents, I'm, all parents and I just are not let me. You know, the older she gets, all parents are not me. The, the you be thinking now that they don't think I'm cool. You no, that, that was a, that's exactly what I was about to say. You think you are the coolest thing. But I've heard they've told me that. Who is they? She's told me that. Just because you ain't cool, don't mean you got a shit on me. I Whoa. know who I am. Whoa. I'm cool as fuck. Okay. You you keep that cool. I'm cool as fuck. You, no, you keep that cool. As fuck, though. At, at AF. No, nah, it's fuck. Say it. AF. At fuck. I don't say that. Mad anymore. hard fuck. AF. I'm cool as all that shit. F- whatever. I know who I am. <laughs> I know who keep I am. Keep telling yourself that, I baby. I do. I do. Let's go on to the question of the day. Okay. How do you show affection to your partner? So, Kristen and I were laying in the bed a couple of nights ago, and I'm holding her, and I think I pulled my dick out. Your dick is always out. I think I pulled my dick out. I think your dick is always out. And oh, that specific time that your dick came out. Okay, go. And you were you were like, oh my gosh, I just wanted to cuddle. I just wanted some affection. And I'm like, that's how I show affection. Through sex. A lot of times. And you rolled over and went to sleep. And you had a little, I wouldn't call it an attitude. But you seemed disappointed. And I was like, affection, the fuck is it? And how do you show it? That's not like a movie scene. <laughs> no. 
It felt like one. That sounds like right when that happens, then the credits roll. <laughs> the credit. <laughs> yeah, what you it's a short said. ass movie. Like I think, uh, but I think you don't. You're very affectionate. You always rubbing or feeling or doing something. Well, I think I'm affectionate. Yeah, so that's not how you show affection. I think that you want to believe that, but I don't. That's not what you do. You lay on me all the time, or you'll. I lay on you like all the time. That's not the way. But why do you feel that sex isn't the way I show affection? That's one of the ways I show affection. It's not the only way, no, but it's definitely one of the ways that I show affection. It's actually to me the strongest. No shit. It's a. It's sex. Yeah. What is the definition of affection? What is that? You know, I looked that up too when you said it. Um, because I'm I'm actually very curious now. Uh, and, you know, I mean, you can say it all the time, but what does it actually mean? Affection is a gentle feeling, <laughs> a gentle feeling of fondness or liking the act or process of affecting or being affected. So what the fuck does that mean? Which one? Yep. Because I don't know how to. OK, I. I think I show affection by just doing uh, things to like just care. I don't know how to like taking care. I think. Explain that. I think I show affection by like making sure that you ate or like things like that. That's how you show affection. That's your way of showing affection. I think that's one of the ways, like making sure that you're taken care of, mm -hmm. I think is a way that I show affection and don't really realize it. But I'm very handsy. If we're just talking about physical touch. You know what's so funny about it? <clears throat> and this was going through my mind as well. I was like, so for me, um, my love language, top one, is uh, physical. I think it was physical. Fucking. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, fucking. And then I think my second one was quality time. Which I don't understand. Right. Yours. <laughs> Wait, you, <laughs> you right? That doesn't make sense? Your your top two are quality time and acts of service. Yes. And the way you just said, you show affection by cooking for me, for yeah. instance. To me, that's you showing affection According the, to the way I want to be loved, are, right? Not the way I want to be loved, mm. and vice versa. So it's just fucking for me. Quality time. I don't understand. You don't understand. Quality you always time? want to get away from me. I. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make any sense. So it's only fucking. Like the it's other not, one's not real. That's not real. real. That's not real. It's real. You only believe it because it was in a test and the test told you. But think about no. what you want. Do you want to be around me all the time? I like being around you. Do, you stuttered? No. Do you want to though? Want to be around you? You like it because like, you know, we're married and we are around each other. So you got to like it. Listen, spending time with you is amazing. It's one of my favorite things to do. I just also have other favorite things to do. Which is fucking, because those are the only top two, right? Well, that's with you. But with other people, I like hanging out with other people. I like going places without you. So I you're like all sitting around, in a room by myself. You're all around love language, quality time, just not necessarily me. No, no, no. My all around love language is fucking. So that's how you love everyone? That's how you love your friends and your family? No, I give them quality time. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I want to know what the top one is. So what you if we're going by that logic, that's your all around, your top one. You don't really like nobody. What you mean? Because that's the way that you show That's the, the your person love. that you're with. But you said you're all around. That's your top. I think my top is quality. I think my top for everybody that... We're not just talking about you and I. Mm -hmm. I think it's quality time. So if that's the love language you enjoy more, quality time. I didn't say I enjoy it more. That's just how I show it. Like, if I give you quality time. It's because you can't fuck them. No. You no. can't fuck your friends and family. No, not even so that. So it's like, what's the next way I can show them I care about them without pulling my dick out? What way? No, it's not me thinking, okay, what way can I? No, it's just that's how I show that I love you. And that's also when I expect the most uh appreciation 
it's from my time given. Like when I spend time with my with my anybody, friends, family, whatever the case may be, I'm like, yo, I'm spending my time with you. Like you should you should appreciate this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And when I'm with you, it's like we fucking and we spending time. Cause you gotta spend time when you fucking. I mean, the time fucking. Yeah, you together. Yeah, that could be anywhere from five minutes to five hours. Excuse me? I'm at, I, right. Right? What? Do you have a time limit on your quality time? No, yes. Um, wait. <laughs> what did I say? Like, what counts as quality time? I don't know what counts as quality time. I think um, any time that we're spending together is quality. No, sometimes it's just quantity. Like when? If we sit in like on a couch together and you doing one thing and I'm trying to get you to do something with me, then we just spend in time. But it's not quality time. It's just an amount of time. Okay. Or vice versa. If I'm doing something and you want to lay on me and I'm like, uh, not right now. We spend in time. It's just. If you say not right now, then we're not spending time together. We're sitting beside we can, each other. No, but we could be in the we same. We in the same time. I get you. We can spend. We can be in the same room and not spending time together. I get that. Yes. I, I understand that. Yes, okay. you're right. So it's not quality. Sometimes it's just an amount of time. Okay. But we spend a lot of quality time together. We, yeah. I mean, we have to. Why? You don't think we have to spend quality time together? No, I'm just asking why you feel like we have to. We're married. Like, we chose to be in this position. I don't think that. All married couples feel that way, though. I think that's just how we feel. And I'm not saying other couples don't feel that way, but I think that's just how we feel. Mm -hmm. And there are other couples that might feel differently. I just feel like I put myself in this position to be here. Like, I'm going to get some quality out of this. Like, some of this is going to be quality. I get I get that, but at the same time, I feel like there are certain people that may be like, well, I, for instance, okay, people that are in the service. Yes. That get deployed a lot. The military. Yeah. The service. I didn't know if you meant like the army of the Lord. (laughs) I didn't know what you was talking about. No, people that are in the the service, they, uh, they might not be able to spend that much time with each other. Yes. But they might send gifts all the time or something like that and that's their way of showing love and affection and all that they don't have a choice that might not be their love language though you're right i get that yeah i get that it's a lot it's fine don't worry anyway you still didn't answer the question how do i show affection how do you show affection acts of service and being handsy and grabbing your dick sometimes (laughs) instead of when you be like no don't grab it here I'd be like, why? And I'd be like, all right. You shoot my hand away. <laughs> Just trying to show you attention. And That's you your way? Yeah. Of showing affection. Yeah, so you should let me do that. Nah, you be different. You be different, yo. You be you be grabbing like... Dick. And balls. You I'm know. going in for dick. You, it, that's you, not extra credit if get, I grab balls you too. You chunky hand. That's not like bonus points. What, for balls? Yeah. I'm grabbing dick and balls. It's act, I go in there for one and I come out with extra points. You don't, it's not, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yes, baby, it is. Okay, so just, yeah, what's, I don't understand. What's the problem? Nothing. So that's physical touch. That's how I show affection. Your balls, though, like, <laughs> like on your dick. So why was it such an issue the other night then? Because I didn't feel like being affectionate. You said you wanted to be a. Aff- Oh, you're right. Exactly. I didn't feel like being I because sometimes I just want to cuddle. You never want to. So though. you used the wrong words. You should have just said that. I just want to cuddle, not I want I just wanted affection. Cause that's what you said. I just want to. Yo, that affection. word really stuck out in your head. We got a whole question of the day out of that shit. You goddamn right we did. That's what you was doing. You was thinking after I was like, yo, and then you just stared at the ceiling. Cause you was like, How can I incorporate this in the show? <laughs> <laughs> It's always can no, never I was just be confused. a real moment. I was confused. Yeah, sometimes I just be wanting to cuddle with you. I don't be wanting to do all the extra shit. I just want to cuddle. I just want to be in your arms and feel your heartbeat on nah. my back. Or nah, that feels weird. What? That feels weird. 
Why? I don't know. It just feels weird. Okay. My heart beating on your yeah. back. Okay. That's dumb, but okay. That don't feel weird to you? No. It's like we we won or something. I don't know. What did everybody else say? We've said way too much. <laughs> oh, this is a great one. <laughs> Uh, how do you show affection to your partner touching their pee pee? <laughs> 196 <laughs> likes on this one comment. Oh my God. Um, how do you show affection to your partner? It usually involves knee pads. Okay, bitch, yes. Um, how do you show affection to your partner by annoying her daily? Yeah, that's you. Is that how you do it? Annoy you daily? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, that I show affection by annoying. Oh sometimes. my god, yes, you do. How do you show affection to your partner? Like the joint first, ha? Yeah, you're right. I mean, that used to be me, but uh, pinch a left cheek or right cheek, depending on my mood. I might grab a baseball glove amount. Yeah, so that's okay. how do you show affection to your partner? Pay rent, god damn it, that's affection like a motherfucker. You are in a place of residence, but our, both of our money is. Is our money, so it don't matter who pay it. What you mean? We, we, we if I'm paying and I'm showing affection, but we making money together. Fuck it. Your money is my money. I'm using my portion. Wow. To pay rent. Wow. Is really it's your portion? I'm using my portion. That's what you think? What my portion? Yeah. To pay rent? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you show a pe- affection to your partner? Lick her face. Chicks dig it. <laughs> oh my god how do you show affection to your partner by dry humping her like i'm in middle school that's, hey that's that cool like some you shit that's cool uh how do you show affection to your partner by learning their love language and then demonstrating it in their way not yours did you talk to her no i didn't talk to her all right i, I, think you I did. don't know who the fuck thank you is. Did. um how do you show affection to your partner uh, encouragement, touch, positive affirmation, silence, prayer, strength, and love. Yo, you put that up. You 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 put that on social media um, what? the other day and had people looking at me crazy. No, I didn't. Or put maybe anything. I put it. You up. put it up yeah, there it up. that you don't pray with me. No, but you said it. You don't pray with me, and you edited the clip. Now <laughs> you wanted other people to know that you don't pray with me. Listen, I I what. You don't pray with me. You never asked to pray with me. I have asked before, and you were like, I don't, I just say, my, I don't know. Like, why you don't pray with me? I don't know. No, I'm not saying you never asked why I don't pray with you. You never asked to pray with me. I have before. You never said, hey, let's pray together. But I have asked you that, and, and you don't want to do that. You just go into your own hole and do whatever the fuck it is that I'm, you do. I mean, God be. And I don't, I shouldn't have said fuck while we was talking about this, Probably but. Not. I mean, I pray on my own, but you have never like wanted to pray with me. That makes you feel some sort of way. Yeah, that's that's it's odd to me. We've had discussions about things, but we've never actively prayed together, except for when we got married. Did we pray together then? I prayed with somebody in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who it was. Maybe it was you, but yeah, we didn't. We pray. We did. We prayed at the altar. Oh, okay. But I don't know if I was praying. We've never prayed together, like actively sat down and been like, yo, let's pray together. I mean, not yo, but you get it. You know how to say it. There's nothing wrong with saying yo, let's okay. pray. Like, yeah. So I don't know. What What is your hang up about that? I don't know. I just think praying is such a personal thing for me. I get that, but. You're married we now. Married and yeah. So you know what I was gonna say. So you know you should be praying with me. I didn't say we should be praying. How you know we praying to the same God? You don't think my God is the same God? I was in a gospel group. I know I got the right God. <laughs> Wait, what? <It's> the, <laughs> I know it's the correct God. <laughs> what your God be doing? What your God do? My God, chill, B. Nah, God don't be chill. It's too much going on in the world nah, right he now. Be, he be chill. Nah, it's chaos. That's why he causing all this. This chaos right now. So he causing the chaos? Nah, he chilling. You don't think that he got like just access to everything? You don't think that's him? My God does. Like so Drake? that's how I know. That's how I know our gods are different. You just compared I your just, God to Drake. I just. <laughs> wow. 
No, you say he has access to everything. I'm like, well, Drake has access to everything. Oh, you think Drake is God? No, nah, I didn't say that. You got light skin? Nah. He got a short haircut, though. You don't think? You don't think? <laughs> That's crazy. My God got locks or something. Oh, word? Yeah, he do. That's your God or your Jesus? It's all God. As a matter of fact, my God, he don't have nothing He because he everything. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah, that's that's how guys work. That's how my God work. Which, where your God live? In Jerusalem. Why everything got to go back to Jerusalem? <laughs> <laughs> he lived there now. I, 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 your God? Now you're confused. You don't even know who you pray to, huh? Who you be talking to? <laughs> <laughs> you having your AirPods in when you pray? <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> who on the other line? What do they say? You got to wait for the ringtone? Like, what do they say? <laughs> who are you talking to? Let me see your phone bill. No. I'm you don't t- be praying. <laughs> you do not be praying. You don't. Nah, man. I pray. I be, I be praying. What do you say in your prayers? What uh, do you... Thank you, Lord. Bless Kristen. Bless the babies. Bless my family. Uh, we not your family, right? No, like... That's fine. No, go ahead. I'm just going through the prayer. Wait, you going to break down I just say prayer? different things, but go ahead. What do you say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on, because I'm never there when you do it. So I just want to know what you be talking about. Um, I say thank you. I say... Uh, let tomorrow be amazing, you know, whatever that looks like. You be telling God what to do? That's crazy. But go ahead. No, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. You don't just be like, God, can tomorrow be amazing? No. You be like, nah, you tomorrow, it better be amazing. Yeah. You, you tell God. I stand on a promise. That's the days we have thunderstorms, or that's just like, <laughs> it's a regular ass day. Now, nah, what I, else? I never pray for weather. What else? You don't pray for weather. You no. don't have to pray for weather. I think those are emotions. What you mean? Somebody got struck the other day. So, I think it was by accident. Did you pray that day? No, <laughs> I pray almost every day. You do? Yeah. Damn, when do you have time to do that? At night. At night? Yeah. I put. I pray during the day sometimes, but you at pray night. at night. You pray like, hmm, because usually like on you masturbate. You pray when you masturbate. After. After. You sure? After I masturbate. Well, you just want to get your sins out before you talk to God. <laughs> You want to release your sins before you talk to God? First and foremost, don't think about the last 20. <laughs> yeah. I want You want to lay your burdens down? <laughs> lay your burdens down. You so nasty. Why are you nasty? What do you think God say after? Oh, man. You think that nothing voids my prayers because I, I masturbate before I, I talk to him? No, I don't think so. I think, nah, you coming to him, you know, with a clean heart. Not a clean hand. Empty dick. I, don't, I think we we go to hell like every episode. <laughs> like I just I feel it, and I don't know why y'all keep listening because y'all going to what we wearing to hell? What we wearing to hell? What are we wearing? Um, what's your way of showing affection to your partner? Cooking and sending deliveries to him without reason—that's his love language. Oh wow! Remember when you did both of those things for me before what, we got married? And send deliveries? Yeah, you did both of those things. You I cooked did. me chicken soup when we first. Like you were sick. We're talking. You I was sick, anymore. and uh, and uh, you sent me food. Yeah, I did. And I was working at I a told radio you about station. Me sending you food, right? What do you I mean? was in the car with another woman. That is crazy. Yeah, I know. Did you tell me that? I I, I don't know. That's why I asked. You sent me food to work while yeah. you in the car. Let me check your DoorDash, cause I I got an attitude. I don't know what the fuck you what what is in your head. What do you do? What you mean? I felt like you was hungry. It's a lot of hungry people out here. And then we had we had spent some time t- together the night before, right? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Night before we spent some time together, and you just went and got another woman. He was like, "Oh, let me check on the bitch from last night. Are you hungry? Yeah. You did." You called me a bitch not, too? Not those words. Did you say bitch? I didn't say Let those me words. check on the bitch from last night. I didn't ever say those words. What'd you say? Let me check on the chick from last night. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. I cannot believe you. What? You're such a heathen. Oh, man. Here, here, here. Go right here. What do you do to show affection to your partner? I leave him alone. I give him peace. Oh, that's a godsend right there. Is it? Peace? 
Do you know that's all I want? That's all I want. What do you need to happen for you to have peace? Silence. Mm. Why you marry me? I thought you present. Oh, you thought I was a quiet bitch, huh? I I thought you thought I was. What made you think that? What impression did I give you that I was quiet? You didn't give me the impression that you was loud. You sure? Yeah. Ain't no way in hell I didn't give you an impression that I at least talk a little bit. You was putting on. What? We had conversations. That's how you got to know me. Yeah, conversations. You talk to people. People talk that are quiet. We was having a good conversation. We was drunk a lot, too. We were. Maybe that's what it was. You think drunk people be quiet? Exactly. So I couldn't base base anything off of that. They aren't. Exactly. So I couldn't base anything off of that. What do you do to show your partner affection? This nigga said, when I'm peeing, I let her hold it and she likes that. Yo. I'm not holding your dick while you pee. I didn't say you had to, but there are some girls that like doing that. You know some? There are some girls that like doing that. Yo, you've experienced a wide range of people. Because that's a very specific hobby. When I read that, I was I didn't know that the I other was. people did that? Yeah, for real. That's a very specific <laughs> hobby. Oh my gosh. Um, what do you do to show your partner affection? The part that I can say on Facebook, I pluck his gray beard hairs and he tries to steal the mole on my forehead. Huh. That sounds a little bit like us. Yeah, it does sound like us. You know we you, don't have to talk about it. We, we gotta, gotta keep about? something for us. Okay. Gosh. All right. There's got to be something. All right. <laughs> so you know I am affectionate. Let's just let's just say that. Yeah, man. Um, what do you do to show your partner affection? I cook. Psh, hell yeah. Guap guap hand twister three thousand. That almost sound like a rug burn on your dick. I saw I saw one of those. I keep seeing them actually on Instagram. What? The gawk gawk. 3000s. That's a real thing? Oh, yeah. that's the thing that look like bubbles and shit? Yeah. I think they're putting something inside of it. I know, but oh, that's not a good way to make me want to buy it. It just look like it's good for dishes. <laughs> you could probably clean the fuck out of some flutes with that. Some champagne <laughs> flute. <laughs> it do. It look like they're just doing the dishes with it. Yo. That's crazy. Yo. Um, What is something that you do to show your partner affection aggravate the hell out of him i think it's a universal language honestly um was something that you do to show your affection to your partner uh by not doing it i don't get that i don't know either uh what is something you do to show affection to your partner i bite them <laughs> Uh, something else that you do to show affection to your partner. Um, starting a whole fight, then give that irresistible smile he can't deny. I'm probably toxic, I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's toxic. <laughs> that's to- Let's do like one more. Okay. Okay. Wait, there was one down. Go down. What is something that you do to show affection um everything you know like packing his bag and unpacking his bag i pretty much read his mind i feel like that i don't pack your bag you ain't never packed my bag i don't i don't or unpacked it i don't do that but or try to read my mind i do most of the time yeah i do you don't read my mind i do name of time when you read my mind when your back itch and you don't even know your back itch oh yeah oh my god right yeah that's that should be itching oh it'd be itching and i get that shit don't i damn I'll be fucking that back up. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Knees be buckling. You didn't even know you needed that. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Oh man. Um let's let's take a pause real quick. Uh we gotta go over these tour dates first. Yeah. We do have some um tour dates we need to announce. Uh Detroit, so you know Detroit's been sold out. That's coming up actually if you're listening today. It's coming up uh Sunday. Sunday. Um, on August 14th, the Detroit, the first show sold out. We added a second show that's at nine 30. Um, it's still a few tickets left for that. So you might want to get those soon. Um, Atlanta, we are coming back quick as hell. 
uh, August, I keep wanting to say October, August 19th and August 20th. That's a Friday and Saturday. We're coming back to City Winery in Atlanta, Georgia. So you missed it last time. This is your ch- time to come back, get tickets, have a good time with us. It's a super fun show. Um, we're bringing AJ Foster and Cleese Cassidy with us. Uh, I think DJ Andrew Hypes is coming. Like, it's, it's, it's going to be super fun. So, um, Come back at, or if you came last time, come again. I don't know. Um, August 28th, uh, Tampa, Florida, we'll be at Side Splitters. That's almost sold out. So uh, you might want to get those tickets really, really soon. Um, September 29th, uh, we'll be in Denver, Colorado at the Improv. Um, tickets are on sale for that as well. October 2nd, we'll be in Hartford, Connecticut at the Funny Bone. Um, October 6th, we'll be in Miami, Florida at the Improv. And October 9th, we'll be in Austin, Texas at Cap City Comedy Club. And there are more dates that we are announcing soon. Yes. So if you don't see your city up here now, one of two things. We haven't announced it yet. Or you missed it. But obviously, I'm, I'm going to say this. We've been around. Honestly, I'm going to say this because we've, we've seen a lot of like re, like come to Nashville, come to Philly, come to Chicago. And we've come to a lot of those places already. Um, and we'll try to come back next year. Um, but uh, we do have a couple more dates to announce. But I don't want you to hold out and be like, I want to see if they come in closer. Like a lot of these places, we're not coming anywhere closer to these places because some of the people might be like, let me see if they announce such and such before I buy a ticket. Um, We have a couple of West Coast dates to announce. Uh, Just letting that be known because a lot of people are like, you got to come to the West Coast and we are coming and y'all better show up. So we're going to announce those soon. And uh, I think a couple more, but. Those tickets are all on sale now, so please get your tickets. Um, what's your summer fantasy? A five sum. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was that is that was a lot more. Um, what is the word? I don't know. That was just uh, that. Uh, the aspirations were bigger than I thought they were going to be. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, no matter how you want to get steamy this season, Dipsy has a sexy story for you to indulge in all of your fantasies. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. It's your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, or heat things up with a partner. Um, I remember I got Dipsy a while ago, and it's... It made me think about you a lot, but I just didn't tell you. Did you play with yourself? I did a little bit. Oh, it was, it was, it's really nice. I like it. <laughs> New content is always released every week. So in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash A-T-W-H-S. That's 30 30- Full days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories dot com slash A-T-W-H-S. Dipsy stories dot com slash A-T-W-H-S. That's what's up. Yeah. That's really good. I like it. Um, I like it. Super topics. Uh, If you haven't done so already, you should probably get with the Patreon. We have gotten out of our Patreon funk. Um, I think we had like a writer's block when it came to Patreon for a while. We just didn't know what to talk to y'all about. We were talking to people on Patreon like, yo, we should do a live. And nobody was responding. Yeah. Or, hey, what do y'all want to talk about? Because certain tiers you can actually curate the show. And nobody was responding, which is crazy because there are people on Patreon. Yeah. Um, But we're back. And I, <laughs> the last Patreon clip you put out was. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, we got we got a lot. And I love my wife. Yes. Yes. I love my wife. I'm not looking to cheat on my wife. I think Patreon is for the people that understand who we are and our sense of humor. And all because a lot of people were like, why would you do this? Why would you say this? You don't even joke about this. And I was like, ah, these people yeah, are not on Patreon. Lady, this one lady was so mad. It was she an older was like, lady. Yeah, she was like, I'm not coming to the show. Yeah. She commented on another clip and was like, I'm not coming to your show in Atlanta because you cheat on your wife. <laughs> You're a cheater. <laughs> And I was like, ah, oh, gosh. And I couldn't be smart with her because I was like, she doesn't understand. It's fine. Uh, but all the people that get it, uh, Patreon is probably where you need to be because it got worse than that. That little clip won't shit. Yeah. 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 But, um, and we get to a lot more 
we get to other topics that yes. we don't get to here. So, so if you're not a Patreon member yet, go up there, join Patreon. It is super dope. Uh, I think this week, uh, either Friday or Saturday, we are going to do a live stream or a Zoom. I don't think we decided which one yet. Yeah, it might be Saturday when we get to Detroit. Yeah, um, cool. I think that'll probably be the easiest one because it won't be interrupted by kids. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. so there's that. Yeah. So we'll join the Patreon. We definitely want to do a live and talk to you, but talk to y'all. Like you know, you know have real I think, conversations. I think Zoom might work. Zoom, be Zoom would yeah, probably right. be easier. You're right. So, um, so yeah. So join the Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash. And then we had sex. Uh, but I was saying that because we have so many topics still that we haven't covered. So I'm gonna try to get to a couple today. And whatever I don't, we might save some for Patreon, or we might save some for next week. Who knows? Uh, this is a lot going on. <clears throat> how long has it taken for somebody to get over you? <sighs> You don't want to ask me that. Yeah, I do. Uh, What's like them, the longest? What for them to to get over you? Now, still. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't think that I'm worth someone still thinking about me? Who's still thinking about you? You know the person? Yeah, I know the person. Who? Why does that matter? How do you know they're still thinking about you? Because they they'll I'll get a random message or a random tweet or something that I'm in. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? You don't think I'm good enough for somebody to have lingering thoughts about me? You don't think I'm good enough so for what it? the messages be you saying? You don't think I'm good enough for like a shit? Nah, it ain't even that. A shoulda, coulda, woulda, nothing like that. What the messages be saying? Nothing. It's just like one time I got a um, I got a a gif of somebody just like laying in a pool of tears. It didn't have a message. It was just a gif. But you said you get messages though. No, like, I mean, I haven't had a message in a while, but I'll get a random tweet or something like that. Saying yeah. what? This should have been us? No, like, in the pool of tears or something. Anyway. You get any? What? You got people that are still pining for you? No, nah, I think everybody over me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I think everybody's over me. Baby. Why? Why you say that? Yeah, cause ain't no, you ain't, get hate mail now? No, nah, I don't get hate <laughs> <laughs> Cause that would be wild. <laughs> now, be like, just want to let you know, fuck you. You know, <laughs> you know what it is. I think ever since we started this show, there's no way for you to go. Not even that. I think the women that I have dealt with before, they fuck with you so hard. Oh damn! It's like if I did want that nigga, I don't want him no more. Cause I fuck with her, and she really? know how to handle him. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, I respect that. Yeah, man. Oh, I wouldn't be mad at nobody that still wanted you. I think that you're a, you're a great person. One I mean, of that's my, why I'm here. One of my homegirls, she was like, her husband is like, yo, is it cool that, you know, y'all talk? And I was like, my wife don't care. She already fucking knows that she got me. Like, and she was like, that's exactly what she told him. Like. Damn. But he, I guess he watches too. So. <laughs> So it's like, I don't want to make her upset. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, is it cool or like, nah? Like, no? Not for real? Yeah, man. Yeah. Damn. Um, but I bring all that up because of Irv Gotti, who has been the talk of the town. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of mad because I've only watched clips. We haven't watched the whole You're drink right. chance. I tried to watch the whole drink. That's what I meant to talk about. What? <sighs> the non-sex party. Oh, we can get you want to get into that too. Well, let's finish this. Then we'll I thought that was the Patreon conversation. Is that a Patreon conversation? Yeah, because we talked about it on Patreon. They didn't even know we were going to one. Okay, well, yeah. Well, I guess now you know you got to sign up to Patreon. Yeah, you got to sign up to Patreon because we didn't even <laughs> introduce it here. Wow, look at you. <laughs> we, we didn't talk about it here, but we can talk about how it went. Yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, we didn't watch the whole episode. No, we didn't. Um, But from the clips, basically, anytime a dude is talking about a situation that happened mad long ago, you still in it. Like you, yeah. you still thinking about that person. So I looked at it a couple of different ways. I looked at it like that. And then I looked at it like, okay, we on drink champs. I'm just going to give them the shit that they want to hear. Right. So here's a story and I'll give them that. I looked at it like that too. I mean, Irv Gotti is a character. We know this. Right. So I think he just want to give them something so they could be like, yo, it's going to be the talk of the town. Everybody going to talk about this. Do you think Ashanti cares about that? 
I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'm not Ashanti, but I don't think she would appreciate this nigga just bringing up all her shit. I because a like lot of people did not know they were, I didn't know that it was fuck. Fat Joe that. said he didn't know. I knew that. Fat Joe was around him and said he didn't know. I knew that. But a lot of people didn't. And it's weird that you say it so confidently. I, I don't know how I knew yeah, that. Yeah, it was I knew weird. That. Like, <laughs> now, it's so weird that you said oh, it man. like that, too. I hope I ain't get nobody in trouble by saying that I knew that. Somebody told you? I don't remember, but I knew that for a fact. Somebody told you. Maybe. You got a lot of ears to the streets out there in New York, though. Yeah, exactly. You so, have a lot. Yeah. A lot. Um, Why? You're not even there. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> But no, a lot of people didn't know that. Fat Joe said he didn't know and got on him a little bit too about bringing it up. But I felt bad for his wife. I f- hell what? I yes. felt bad for his wife. Yeah, because he's still married. I don't know, but even if he isn't, well, he's not still, still married, married. Even if he isn't, I still don't. She probably already knew. Yeah, but you you never want to feel like your your person is you still in love with somebody else. But that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it felt like he was in love. From the clips I saw, I don't know what he said. I'm going to watch that whole thing tonight. I'm going to have to because I've, I wanted to watch it anyway. But see, this is this is why. Shit like this. It pulls us in because we got to know more. That's what these <laughs> clips fucking do. That's why people come in here just talking about shit they don't know about. I might not even know what else happened. But I think that, yeah, you don't want to be embarrassed ever. And that's what he did in a lot of ways. He embarrassed his woman. But if it's not his woman anymore. Still. Like, or maybe she felt like it was more embarrassing for him because it was he was a clown move. We could break up. Mm-hmm. And years down the line, you you could say something like, yeah, um, while I was dealing with Jay, there was this other dude on the side, yada, yada, yada. That's still going to make me feel like a sucker. Like, All right, let's not yo. make this into a clip because niggas already think I got somebody on the side. Do you? No, oh, baby, when? The way you said it. Where do I, I go? You sounded so confident. Where do I go? I don't, t- hey. No, people, I, you ain't seen, people been like, no, she already got somebody on the side. That's why she be laughing at him when he be talking about cheating and shit. Nah, I don't breathe the comments. Okay. Usually. Yeah, I be trying not to. But I think I would never want anybody to embarrass me. Like, I would never embarrass you. I would never want, but that's another reason that I'm not like a cheater. I I don't think you could hold that same stance because you've cheated before. Yeah, and that is embarrassing regardless. I've cheated before, but in my cheating, there's no but. No, in my cheating, I I never. You didn't, but if you were with somebody else, like okay, for instance, on the show, it's weird you tapped my leg to be like no level with me because I'm not going to. But (laughs) go ahead. On the show, we talk about our past experiences. Yeah. But we never put names out there. Yeah. We never put times out there for them. Yeah. Part, except for one person. But whatever. Uh, we never put times out there. Um, so it could be a plethora. But that doesn't mean anything. I think cheating on somebody is already embarrassing them because you don't know what the other end of that party thinks about this. They might not have the same morals, quote unquote, that you think you have by not talking about it. You're still doing it with somebody else. I get it. So that's embarrassing, regardless. And like, well, that's I, so why I don't. I, said I feel bad for his wife. But why? Because like, she was dealing with somebody that was in love with somebody else. So Act- you don't feel bad for none of the other people that the people that you cheated on. Wait, what? You don't feel bad for none of the people that you cheated on? Who me? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Mm. I do. No, I do. Hmm. What? It just doesn't sound convincing. No, I I mean I've gotten over it. I've forgiven myself. Oh my god. You can't forgive yourself? Oh my god. It's just <laughs> You can't forgive yourself. How do how do they feel? How do they feel? I don't know. I don't talk to them. Yeah. But I've forgiven myself. They might not get over it. They may. But you didn't check up on them to see if they did. What was I supposed to do? Hey, so I wonder if you listen to my show. Uh, I just want to let you know that. Or just a random call, like, yo, I just want to know if you happy today or you still think about me fucking. And that's what I was about to say. Most of the females that I cheated on, except for one, didn't know I was cheating. 
That's not embarrassing, though, because you're also you don't know what the person you're cheating with, how they think about the situation. What you mean? They could go and be like, yo, like this podcast could be crazy. And somebody could be like, yo, I fucked him around this time. Somebody put a timeline together. And be like, damn, that was me. Because it ain't going to be around this timeline. I know that for a motherfucking fact, I, nigga. I don't <laughs> I don't think any of the women that I used to deal with, for the exception of maybe one or two, even listen. Okay. So. Yeah. You talking about now? I was saying if it got like big. Oh, okay. I don't know how we doing now. <laughs> I just know we going to and people want to see if we're going to get a divorce and that's it. That's all I know. Yeah, that's kind of. That's kind of. That's kind of how we doing. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, let me just throw this out there though. While we here, uh, the Instagram about to hit a hundred thousand. That's crazy. Yeah, we gotta celebrate. That. And the Facebook. Um, so if you're not following those, follow them. I mean, you already way past that, but I'm just saying, like, you know. Nah, that's a big accomplishment. That's that's pretty crazy. And, it, and we're hitting it uh, before we actually forecast it. And then I keep seeing our clips uh, end up on other people's pages with like a million views, and almost a million views. Man. I think that shit is so crazy. Because all those people in those comments don't listen. I'm going to stay out of the comments. <laughs> they just keep tagging us and shit. Um, where would you say would be the worst place that you reveal that someone's cheating on you? Like, you know I'm cheating on you. Where's the worst place to reveal that? The worst place to reveal it? Yeah. That... Uh, like to embarrass you anywhere yeah okay um maybe church church okay that's cool or, I, I thought about church or like i don't know like our anniversary or something your parents anniversary i thought it ooh <laughs> Your parents' anniversary. It'd be like a fiftieth, like a big ass oh, party, gosh. and just walk in there and be like, "This the bitch." <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that the all those are good, uh, but this dude did it on his wedding day. Wait, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Dude in China had a video of his wife cheating with, uh, I think, a brother in law or something like that, and he played it at the reception. As they were coming in, played it on the wait. So they didn't already had the wedding, so they married. Yeah, but they married already. Why he didn't do it? Different. I'm guessing this was a. It could have been the wedding. I don't know. It got to be at the wedding because I can't marry her and then be like, by the way, you're right. You're right. So maybe it was at the wedding. Damn! Wow. Definitely the wedding day. Wow, that's a hell of a movie premiere. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow, you already yeah, got man. an audience. Yeah, you should have edited that shit and like threw some effects in it. Been like his directorial debut. Yo, I like can't some with you. crazy, amazing short film. I cannot with you. Why not? You already got an audience. They sitting there. They ready to see something. I guess. But yeah, yeah, that was a uh... damn. Uh, but you didn't already pay for all this shit. Like, I, I wonder if he found out after everything was paid for. Well, I wouldn't go through with a whole wedding. Maybe he found out the night before. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, if the guests were still coming and everything was already paid for, yeah. then, okay, yeah, that would be crazy. But then he had to get a projector. That's something extra you got to do on your wedding day. That shit, nah, they, so the projector that he used, it already had stuff on it. So you could tell the projector was already part of the budget. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. I wonder what that conversation with the editor is like, though. Like, whoever running the projector. So, when I say this, you play this. Or, like, oh, I just got a couple more, like, videos to add to the to the slideshow. <laughs> One more video. One more video to add to the slideshow. <laughs> you think we got enough time? Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's cut out the video of when the baby was born. We don't oh, need God. We don't need that. <laughs> got something better. Um, I think you put this in here. Did you put this in here? Um, yeah, but I did put it in there, but I think I also put another similar uh, video in there, but we can just go off the title if you don't want to That's fine. push play. That's fine. Not only do men have sex with women they don't like, there are tons of men who have sex with women they're not even attracted to. Duh. Yeah, I think that goes for men and women. 
You've had sexual men that you didn't like or weren't attracted to? Yeah. Attraction to me is like everything. That's like looks. That's how you feel. Like that's, it's a little bit of everything. It's not, I mean, not just looks. Like attraction is like just whatever energy you get off that person. I don't know how to explain it. How many times have you had sex with somebody that you weren't attracted to? I didn't like, I didn't do a separate list of these are the niggas I'm not attracted to and these are the niggas I had sex with. So I'm asking how many times? I don't know. I got, I got to take some time aside and be like, which one of those? You didn't have sex with a whole bunch of people, so it I didn't, be that but I don't know. I, it got to be like three. Three? That's that's a high number. I don't know. It may be. Well, why you say it like that? Three? You don't seem like the type that would do that. I think I thought that having sex with them would make me like them more. Like, it was people that I liked. Uh-huh. Like, I liked, but something wouldn't let me, like, pursue a relationship or, like, something Something was missing. So you was hoping the dick was. Where I wasn't, yeah, like, I wasn't, like, actually attracted to them. Like, it was, I liked them, but I it was something that was, I and I that. thought the sex would be, like, the <laughs> clincher to be like, yep. But even even if it was good sex it didn't do enough to seal the attraction in. Wow. Like the sex was like, no, nah, I could, I could have that again. <laughs> I just, I don't need the person attached to it in that way. What about you? Oh, uh, no, no, I don't have to ask you. Why? Cause y- your number's pretty high and the percentage gotta be at least some of them weren't your favorite. Let me explain. Mm-mm, you don't have to. When I, I, and I've told y'all before about, the bad sex experience. Yes. And I told you that it's weird that you keep reliving that. Like it's, it's I just feel really sorry for you. I don't. Okay. That's fine. Um, and I told you that after that, did I tell you that I became a hoe after that? I feel like I did before. I think so. Probably. Yeah. I don't well, when really I know being, when the origin, when I was being your a origin hoe, story, my origin of hoe. Uh, yeah. I don't know where the <laughs> hoe origin story starts. Um, but when I was being a hoe, I wasn't caring about what the person looked like. It was just, I just need to have sex so I could practice. And it didn't matter what they look like. Facts. Why didn't you just try with your hand or something like that? My hand was one thing, but having sex with vagina yeah. is a different experience. And Maybe you, know you got to go get that gog, gog shit or whatever Yo, it is. Here go, it wasn't invented back then. Oh my but God. the funny thing is... There was a lot of unattractive women to me that had the box of life, like some great boxes. Or maybe it was just because you finally got good and you got to experience what real sex was like. Nah, son, because I wasn't good with all of them. There was one, there was one, the first, I think the first one that I tried who wasn't attractive at all. um, To you. To me. Because you don't think a lot of people are. That's not true. Yeah, you have a problem. Um, But her box was cold. And I was like... Shoot, that was a dead bitch. I told you she yeah, was dead. Yeah, dead inside. No, nah, she was dead. Um, Her box was cold. But after that, I was just hitting them. Just, man, it was just good box you after good box. You checked on her lately? She still... Like, yeah, she alive. alive. She all right? Yeah, she alive. I just ain't never heard the inside of somebody's body being cold. And she don't... You know what? She doesn't look as bad... As I thought back in the day. I think when you're younger, you just expect everybody to be a supermodel. And then when you're older, you realize what real people look like. Mate, that might be it. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll attest to that. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I get that. Um, Where are we at right now? I don't know. We we recording in the house. Okay. Uh, you want to save some of this for Patreon? Yeah, we yeah we absolutely save some of Let's that. Let's save some of this for Patreon. Let's go straight to nothing about sex. It's a lot of shit we got to cover on Patreon. Oh, there's hella shit. I know. Um, <clears throat> I think we talked about this, didn't we? Yes, we did. We talked about this one. Yeah. Um, let's see. No, no, no. We didn't talk about that. We didn't talk no, about No, we that? talked about the contraception or something like that. Oh, okay. Georgia residents can now claim unborn children as dependents on state taxes. There are so many places I could go with this, but they will all be dark. Go. 
I don't want to do this. Why not? Because I don't. Come on. Can you not make this a clip? Okay. Just the people that. We ain't got a lot of clips today. The so. people that tune in to listen. Is that okay? Okay, fine. All right. I'm just thinking about how many people. Why are you whispering? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about how many people I know that had. Got pregnant and they had like multiple abortions. They was messing up their money. And that is why <laughs> we have a Patreon. Because you are. I'm just trying to. I'm I'm just thinking. <sighs> I know somebody that had at least four abortions. But they weren't for like any reason aside from the fact that she was just being reckless and that bitch could be rich right now well it's for state taxes and state taxes don't be giving you a bunch of money for kids but if you have multiple it's the kids fed taxes if you have multiple that. kids you no know still saying? it's the fed taxes that give you all of that this is stuff. crazy yeah that's not fair because i always thought i had one up on somebody because i had the kids and i was like i'm out here i'm killing shit because it, it always used to be an there. issue for me for for oh my god i don't want to do this what did you say what did you just say nothing what did you say <laughs> nothing. oh my god this is not a <laughs> this is definitely a patreon conversation because i feel like i'm about to say some shit that is gonna get me in trouble yo i'm just thinking about i used to have issues with why yeah, but you a mother though. But okay, you a mother though. Can you edit this out? No, I'm not saying no. But there are people that have not had ch- like I still like I don't know. I feel like mm, I don't know how to explain it. It sounds way worse than I'm. A, I'm gonna I'm save you. Can you save me I'm and save like cut you. it out though? Uh, no, I'm not cutting. No, it No, please out. cut it out. I'm not cutting it out. Okay, because it sounds insensitive. It, no, it didn't. It didn't sound bad. No, I think. It was about to sound. It, <sighs> yeah, that's why I cut you off. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about this? The CDC is no longer recommending staying at least six feet away from people, uh, from other people to reduce the risk of exposure. Instead, they're asking the nation to focus on reducing severe disease from COVID-19. Uh, social distancing and quarantine uh, is basically not recommended anymore. But well, what if I just don't like niggas? And that's what I thought. I was like, yo, but I So why are there still masks? Space. Why are there still masks? Because y'all weird. Oh, no, I'm not weird. I've seen... No, I'm not. Why are there still masks if they're saying you don't have to be six feet away Y'all anymore? weird. Only New York and... Al- Where were we at? Atlanta. It wasn't Atlanta that made you wear the mask. It was uh-huh. New York and... It was another state that we were in. I feel like it's about to get... Oh, D.C. I feel like it's going to get political, and I don't want to get political, but I'm just asking as far as, like, that doesn't make any sense if we are... We don't have to stay six feet away, but... You don't. I don't know. Instead, asking the nation to focus on reducing severe disease. Now, that I didn't understand. Like, how do you... So, how do we... What can I do How do we shift our focus? Like... Not even shift focus... What can I do to to reduce severe disease? Severe disease. What do you mean? Like, what can they, I do? They asking us, but they not giving us no guidelines right. on like, what to do. do it's that? like, do this. You you know, figure it out. <laughs> how do you do that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm confused. Um. Oh gosh, I meant to ask Jaki this. What? Uh, if she's tried it, Chick Fil A is testing only in Nashville right now. Uh, wings. It's scheduled to start in Atlanta sometime soon. Hopefully sometime soon is in next week. Um, I also read something else that said that that was like a fake picture. Like it wasn't real. I guess it's or it's part of one of those online stores. You know how some restaurants have burnt off into different stores? That's a Chick-fil-A though. I know, but it was something like something talking about that. I can't remember what it was, but it was like it's like one of those branched off stores or something like that i knew it was in nashville it was like they were testing something but right. i didn't see anything about it spreading maybe it is now because it went viral but i'm I don't not mad know. at it i mean i'm not mad at it I... chick-fil-a wing <sighs> we can't 
I don't think we're allowed to say we we eat Chick Fil A. Why? I don't, uh, are they still? They still real like racist and like don't like LGBTQ. Listen, okay. I. How can we still eat Chick Fil A and not listen to R. Kelly? What? You see how that goes? What? Because you about to give an excuse that's going to be like, but it's delicious. No, no, that was Just like somebody my, that want to listen to R. Kelly going to be like, but it's that good wasn't music. That was my excuse. You ready? What? A lot of us got grandparents that are racist and don't like LGBTQ. TQ. TQ. IA. Plus. But that ain't us. Yeah, but we're going to eat our grandparents' food because it's good. Really? You don't know people. My grandparents aren't alive anymore, so <laughs> I don't know what you talking. about. I don't about. know what my grandmother stands on things. On yeah, on know. just I don't. Things. That is not the same thing. That's not a good excuse. That's a good excuse for what you're saying. That's, no, a, it's that's not. a great excuse. No, I don't. I, don't, I, don't I know. That uh, I have a friend in particular who has a racist uh, grandmother. She white. Yeah. Okay. But that makes that makes sense. Yeah, but I bet. The food be banging. It's probably not better than her food. Her food kind of good. Yeah. So then yeah. maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, I don't think so. Cause her husband black too. So I don't really think she get to eat the food often. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. What are we watching? Train wreck. Woodstock '99. That was a movie for your ass. I read something the other day that said, and I didn't completely agree with it, but it was like um, people are trying to cancel Travis Scott for Astro World, but Woodstock got a documentary, and I was, and I didn't agree with that because people died at Astro World, even though I'm, uh, you know, back and forth. But I wasn't there. I don't know, like if it was, for, I don't know. That's not here nor there. But in this documentary. They one of the stories they mentioned was this girl got raped. Yeah, yeah, and it was just part of the story. And it was like, damn, that was sad, and nothing else happened. I haven't yeah. heard no stories outline like you know trying to look into it or not, like nothing. Um, it's a full documentary. I it's, mean, the it's documentary an, is really good. It's an interesting documentary. First of all, Ananda Lewis looks fucking phenomenal. She does. She looks like she used to back in the do, day. She do, and that's crazy because they kept yeah. showing flashbacks. And I was like, that's the same person. <laughs> like she looks the same. I used to be in love. Well, who wasn't? Yeah, in love with Ananda. But she looked amazing. But um, nah, they. Yeah, that that shit was cr- like, it felt like what fire festival would have been if it would have like really like lasted lasted yeah like yeah yeah that that shit was crazy like the water the feces in the water them drinking the water the oh, water got yeah. tested and there was uh, shit in it yeah like all that the stuff girl caught the disease yeah on her mouth yeah. and yeah all that shit like that's wild yeah, it was a wild time you gotta watch it um <laughs> Uh, the Great Man. We watched that when we was back in Atlanta. I forgot. To I don't say. think I finished all. I didn't finish you it. You fell asleep. I think I was falling. Oh, asleep. that shit is so good. I mean, I watched most of it. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but I don't think I caught the end of it. That's one of the best action movies I've seen in a while. I heard a lot of people talk about that. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix right now. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. If you yeah. like action and yeah. you just want something to just vibe out to it has its funny moments at the same time it's action pure action man i heard prey was good too on hulu we didn't get to watch that but since you were talking about that i was like i kind of want to watch it like the premiere was the biggest premiere on hulu really like over the kardashians and everything over the kardashians Mm -hmm. i watch the kardashians i know you do because you basic ass nigga you drink pumpkin spice all those things You want to wear you want to wear leg warmer so bad. I know. I'm getting some Uggs this year. You know what? I do know niggas with Uggs, though. Yeah. I know a couple of niggas with Uggs that are like, yo, not like the Uggs that you see. Yeah, like, not, not like those, but I've seen some Uggs where, like, dude, niggas love Uggs. They yeah. mad comfortable. I've no, I don't, it's not my shit. I get it. It's not my shit. Um, and I finally, and this, this ended a while ago, but I finally watched the uh, the last episodes of Winning Time. Oh, you get to talk about a show you watched the last episode of, and I can too, without you. Because you watched that without me. Because you watched 
Hacks. Hacks. And Hacks is Without me. fucking phenomenal. I love that damn show. I almost cried in the season finale and nobody died. I just almost cried. It's it's a good show. I love that show. Can't fucking believe it. Fucking good ass Anyway, show. Winning Time is an amazing show as well. Uh, and Still watching Claim to Fame. Watch the last episode. I didn't watch the last episode. Ooh, See, you I watched found it without out, me. I found out who... Uh, one of the yeah, which one? The dark skin girl. Yeah, oh, Dominique. What's her name? Dominique. I something like that. I found out who her relative is. Did, did were you surprised when you found out? Um, a little, but not after the clue. Okay. After the clue, I narrowed it down, and I think I mentioned the name to you. I said she looks kind of like Luther Vandross. No. Oh. Uh, I don't want to say it. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, okay. But she looks like who I thought she did after I read the clue. But I'll tell you off. off. Don't tell me. I'm going to watch it. I kind of like the show. so I know. It's terrible television, but it's also great. <laughs> and I watched that shit. Yeah, I found out. How do they still keep this on TV? Because I don't it's know. good. It's good. It's, it's terrible. Good. <laughs> it's great. It's terrible. It's absolutely. And I think I found out who one of the other girls uh, is that I could not. I had no idea who she was, but I think I have an idea. Oh, now. okay. Um, before we get out of here, we're going to read uh, a letter from you guys. Uh, you can. You always... looked at me like it was from me. I ain't write shit. No, no. no. Um, I would not write shit to us. You guys can DM us. You can send it uh, in our Gmail, and then we have sex pod at gmail.com yes um you know if you have any type of thing going on with your relationship or just life in general whatever the case may be um you know you can holler at us and we you can see how we feel about you it you got something in your teeth i want to take it out so bad you gonna let me get it? it's on the bottom that's all disgusting right. all right well um, we are very married you want to read this i'll read it oh that shit long where the story start um <laughs> <laughs> Um, There's this guy. Wait, wait, wait. No, we read this. We read this before. We, we read this. Read, no, yes, we, we didn't did. Read this one. Yes, we did. We didn't read this one. Oh, I thought. I, no, I'm pretty sure we read this. We didn't. No, we we read it to ourselves and we joked about it. I think we read it. <sighs> Fine. It's okay. That's all right. If we didn't read it in this bad. Yeah. You what do you want to read another one? Yeah. Uh okay. I want to ask you guys opinion on long distance relationships and I'm not speaking on a few hundred miles. I'm talking like I'm in Louisiana, he's in Germany, he's in the military. Wait, wait, wait. You going to skip the yeah, beginning just, part? Yeah, just talking about us. No, I need to hear that. I I want to hear that. Why? You can read it. It makes you feel good. I usually watch on YouTube. Nah. Come on, man. I'm Let me read the story. Locks. Okay, continue. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have an agreement that as long as we're safe and don't have any babies, everything is all right. All until he asked the question. I cannot read. All until he asked the question. And I honestly answered. Why ask a question you really don't want to know the answer to? Now the vibe is different between us when we talk. Video chat because he knows that I smashed another nigga and told him. Should I have lied and said no? I'm a brutally honest person and I feel like what the fuck I need to lie for. He now says I cheated, but we have had an agreement. Talk about this on the podcast, please, because I don't think I did anything wrong, do you? Hell no, nah, you didn't do anything wrong. Listen, if a person asks you a question and y'all already know what's going on, let me tell you a story. Wait, you got to... All right, you sound like Judge Joe Brown. Now um, listen, let I me tell you a story. This. All right. I was dealing with I was dealing with this uh this 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 girl. Mm -hmm. And me and her was kicking it for a while. We was having a tumultuous relationship. It was bad. Tumultuous. Um so That's we had a, a we had a come to Jesus moment and we was talking and we was like, you know what? We was in Taco Bell parking lot and we was like, "Yo, you, know, you be in Taco Bell a lot." I know it was Waffle House parking lot one of those anyway during the day at night during the day during that's the day crazy that's savage and we would <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking and we were just talking about how we were going to just start new mm. and during that conversation she was like and it's all good because i know you can never do anything uh against me you would love me too much and i was like you really think so? And she was like, yeah, you could never cheat on me. You would never uh have sex with another girl while you was with me. And I was like but why do you think that? She was like, because you in love with me too much. I'm, I already know what I bring. 
And I was like, so you really think I wouldn't do anything? And she said, yeah. So I was like, you want to take a bet on that? She was like, Jay, I don't even know why you playing. So I ended up calling the girl that I had fucked the day before that. And I put her on speakerphone. I was like, yo, how was the dick? And she was like, the dick was good yesterday when you bringing it back for more. And I was like, oh, you already know what it is. Who are you, you talking back. to like that where they, you call them, you say, how was the dick? And they say, oh, it was good. When are you bringing it back? They don't know that they're being questioned in front of somebody. No. What the fuck? Listen, man. You was calling asking people how the dick was? Yeah. You think they give you honest answers? No. They made me feel good, though. You was calling <laughs> asking people how I the dick was? I only did it that one time. Twice. But I only did that. That's a weird question. If somebody called me and asked me that question, I would feel odd as fuck. That's weird. Nah, she didn't feel Like, this nigga is so corny. He just asked me how his dick was? Listen, she didn't care. She didn't care. She was dickmatized. But that pussy was amazing. Though. She was dickmatized. I ain't even gonna lie on her. Was though. she? Yo. I was young back then. I was I was slanging. I was able to anyway. Um, so <clears throat> I say all that to say this. She didn't want the answer that she asked for. He didn't want the answer that he asked for. But should you feel bad about it? Hell no. He shouldn't have asked a question that he didn't want the answer to. Fuck him. I <laughs> I was just going to say, <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, if y'all had an agreement, you good, but you, I think you made it worse. Did I? I think so. Cause I don't think that's what this was about. She said they had an agreement. And I think that's all she was asking was, was it wrong? If they had an agreement, you just added your own shit. Oh, and I don't even think you over that. Like you still got to <laughs> prove it to her. <laughs> I don't think she care anymore. <laughs> do you feel that way? Could I say that to you? No. What do you mean? Could you say what to me? That you wouldn't go cheat on me. You wouldn't be able to. Yeah, don't ever say that to me. Don't say it to you because you feel like you got to prove something? Yes. Or do you... Like, but what if that's true? Nah, don't ever say that to me. But what if that's true? Don't ever say that to me. We're married. I don't give a fuck. Don't ever say that to me. You can say that. You never cheat on me because we married. No, I don't want to say that. We're married. So wh what do you have to prove? Who do you have to prove something to? If, if I'm saying, yo, I think you're so in love with me that you would not cheat on me. I don't think you're going to do it. And you still have to prove something? Hey, yo, don't have to What's wrong that. with your pride? I don't know. It's Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> Who did this to you? Why you can't just be like, yeah, I love my wife. Why are you so scared to tell me you love me? It's not that, man. It is. That's a problem. It's not that. What do you mean? It's not that. I do not think that you will ever cheat on me. Because? You are so in love with me. <sighs> What's happening to your body right now? <laughs> I'm tingling. It feels like. Like you Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> and I just cued you like that's that was it. And then all of a sudden your body start turning green. <laughs> what is happening to you? What no, walk me through this. What happens to your body if I say, I say, I don't believe that you could ever do anything like that to me because I think that you love me entirely too much. Is it the fact that I've told you that you can't do it? Is it the fact that I said that? you love me too much and that shit might be true, but you are too scared to admit that you love me that much. What is it? Take me through it. Put the drink down. Take me through it. Walk me through it. You know it. what it is? Hmm. It's the first thing you said is that you saying that I couldn't do it. Somebody telling you, you can't do something. Yeah. So this is deeper. Okay. Don't let's touch me. No, let's go. Stop it's touching deep. me. You touched my leg Stop the entire time. Me. I'm going to poke the shit out of your shoulder. Listen to me. Stop. Listen to me. Are you ticklish in your shoulder? That's weird as fuck. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Probably caught that shit when you were sitting in the Waffle House during the daylight. Who does that? That's nasty. Waffle House during the day? God, no. What the fuck? Anyway, no. Let's, let's, let's go through this. Now I'm very, very curious. Because, like, your eyes switched. My eyes switched? Your eyes switched as soon as I said, you can't. And you were like, oh, no, I can't. What happens? You got to understand. No, I don't. That's why I said walk me through it. 
<clears throat> Growing up. <laughs> Why are you touching me? I can't touch you, but you can touch me. You're poking me and shit. Yeah, it's weird. Huh? Gr- growing up, um, I was I was uh the ugly duckling. Mm-hmm. And I was always told that I could never get a girl and this down the third. And more so it would suck when people would play me because um they felt like I didn't have enough game to pull a girl. You know what's so crazy about this is that you setting it up like it's a sob story, but at the end of the day, your wife is just saying you won't cheat on her. And you like, nah, bitch, I do that shit because no, I won't cheat on you. You're right. I won't cheat on you. Because you love me too much. We had this conversation. I know, but you, we you, had this you conversation. you're not like you so in love with me. I respect you too much to cheat on you. Okay, that's that's good. That's better. Yeah. Oh, finish your story though. I'm sorry. Nah, we ain't gonna finish it. No, finish your you that's already started story. it. No, that's the story for another day. No, man. it's not. You started it. It's a story for another day. We can't day. start the story from the middle of the story. <laughs> that's a story for another day. Is it? Yeah, man. That doesn't make any sense. Catch us on Patreon. Ah, ah, ah. Why you wanna put everything on Patreon? We gotta tell them some shit. You was an ugly duckling. And then you just what you started cheating just because you was like Nah, Ooh. man. Is that why you started keeping a list in a like no, I kept the list because I felt like... You started keeping a list because you was like, I got to show one of these niggas one day how many bitches I fucked. Nah, I kept the list for two reasons. One, because I felt like I, that I was only going to have sex with 10 girls in my entire life. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad, but like... I said 10. And by the time I got to six, it started getting a little weird. And I was like... Because you was like, I got so many other girls to have sex with. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. It was that... The girl that I thought I was going to, like, marry. Like, you know how when you're younger, you think there's this person for you? And yes. Yeah, so there was this girl that I thought was the perfect girl for me. Yeah. Um, And I was like, yo, I'm at six now, and I know I want to have sex with at least two more people. Before I get to her? Yeah. And she didn't live here. She didn't live in Virginia. I'm like, damn. I got, so, I mean, there's no more fucking in this state. Yo, it was weird. It was It was really weird. Um, and then the other part was because I started keeping a list once I had sex raw for the first time. I was like, nah, I got to keep a count of all these females. Mm-hmm. Make sure if I ever catch anything, I can go back and say, I thought it was you this was, person. I thought it was just so you could like show somebody a book and be like, I did have sex with them. Uh-huh. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many girls that is. That's 27 <laughs> more girls. Than you thought. Nah, man. Like, it's nah, so many like girls. That. How many girls you had sex with, huh? Nothing like that, man. Oh. Yeah. Where's your book now? I have no idea. Oh, that's good. You know where your book is. I know where your book is. Where is it? It's in your lockbox. Is it? Yeah, it's in your lockbox. Oh. Uh, yeah. I have no need to use the book anymore. I know. Throw it away. I'm not throwing it away. Why not? Because that's like nostalgia. I bet you won't throw it away. I won't. That's not how this works. I, t- <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you something. You're not gonna do it. You be like, I bet you I will, and then you throw it away. No, nah, I'm not. Mm-mm. You just pick and choose when you want to listen, huh? <laughs> wow. Okay, that's fine. We um we should do a Patreon episode and a live stream. Okay, the Patreon. But might- tomorrow is. Weird. What? Maybe. Oh, maybe we'll do Patreon tonight. Yeah, we can do a Patreon tonight and do the live uh on, tomorrow on, on no Saturday, on Saturday yeah. when we get to Detroit. I yeah, think we're gonna that'll do a be Patreon comfortable. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. All right. Yeah, I got some stuff that I need to say. Oh shit. Okay. Well, with that being said, uh, <laughs> what accent was that? I don't know. I don't know. You got mad accent. The baby so. tried to make an accent the other day. Yeah, what, Lewis, <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> Lewis, yo, the child watched Family Guy and caught on to the mom, mommy, mom, mom, mommy, and in the beginning they'd be like Lewis, Lewis. That baby said Lewis, Lewis. It was so cute, God. man. Lewis, it was so cute. Ma, yeah. ma. Okay, I'm done. All right. Well, that being said, and then we had sex, and so should you. Thanks for listening. <laughs>